Campgrounds it is. You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about That's the time good. everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually mm -hmm. in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. <laughs> Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Yeah, well, you know who else was confident? Hitler. And look how he ended up. <laughs> Dead. With syphilis. Oh, true. Let's go up here and see if we can find a letter. No Adler letter. Looked up there before. We might as well go up again because there might be an Adler letter. We can also listen to the radio station. Maybe see what it says up there. Up, oh, there's an Adler letter. Oh, Maggie thought that the way the ghosts can talk to us and vice versa is waves. Hmm. Anna and I frequently conducted tests at what was once East Barracks here during the brutal winter of 51. Waves of any kind, radial, nuclear, electromagnetic, seemed to be able to pass through all extremes under existences under certain circumstances, which explained our ability to get communiques sent from them. This might also justify the frequency of hearing one of the canal's electrician's call signs, Calvin Gilbert, came echoing through the relays. On April 4th, 1952, we would attempt to reverse the manifest breakdown and bring the soldiers back. Okay, let's take a look at our letters and see how many we've got. Alright, we're missing three still. But we've got quite a few. So let's resume. Come on down. Down we go. Let's look at the map. Okay, we're fine. Or wait. Okay, that's where it is. We can use the thing to go over. Okay. Good, good, good. There's where that creepy monster thing was. See if there's another letter up here. Nope, not looking like it. Alright, there we go. Moving on up. Let's get back into this thing. To the bridge. You coming, Jonas? There we go. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. So say we all. Let's try going down right now because we jumped our. 
let's try this building real quick. See if there's an Adler letter. Nope, not seeing it. Let's go down first because I don't want to skip the letters. Just in case. She yep, there's an Adler the letter. Ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? Hmm. My belief, bolstered by Anna's and my research conducted largely at the Catbird Station, where interruptions were rare, is that the men and the women of the USS Canola were separated from our dimensional existence by the implosion of the submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign, and his confused diction and reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional states, if not mental states, have been reduced to that of children, a thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. Poof. Okay, well there's one down. Let's keep going down real quick. Let's see. If we find anything else. Climb up here. Or maybe I should go down. Well, I'll go over this time, and then I'll go under. Oh, no. Alright, let's go. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Let's go down this way and see if we can come up with anything. Any letters? We've got three. We've gone pretty much everywhere, so... both go to the Tohi Woods. Alright, I think we will go back and go up to the thing and we'll go to the woods after we're done. I just wanted to explore as much as I could beforehand. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. Oh shit. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop de loo. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, yep. they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also hope that. Okay, so they don't want me to go up there. Oh, there's something down there. Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... No, no, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Nona. I didn't mean anything. What happened? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. I know you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. 
it never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should take... Um, a proposition? L like what? It's already over with Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. No, no, no way. I'm saving everyone. Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. He was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so if he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hopes you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. You were possessed. And for the longest time, I think that we've, um, seen so far. Yeah, I know. I can kind of remember that part. Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? You're hey, anybody? Alive. That's Jonas? all I care about. God. Jonas? Yeah. Punch no, Alex that's, a, that's a bonus too. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the uh, the thing, the machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing. Yeah, let's do it. Times are wasted. Like, Let's unlock the store. Wasted. Like I feel my body wasting away. No, it's it's okay if you're like dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The uh when I almost kinda of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys that No, it was this it was psychotic to watch. Like almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close to it wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. Hello. We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Otherwise, stay on the line, and we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Can everyone just shut up. You can play dress-up phone time when you get home. We got work to do. Yeah, I guess he's right, actually. Okay, all right. Fine. 
Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Close the time hole and save the day. Wonderful. We'll go this way to get back. I think that hopefully we'll find all of the uh, notes from then. Perfect.